customer segments can be really helpful for email marketing and for discounts. So here's how to create them. First, you have to click into customers on the left hand side and then you want to click segments. It's right below customers. So then we have some segments already created here. I believe these were created by Shopify. And if you want to create a new segment, you'll just hit the create segment button near the top right corner. And then right up here where it says to create a segment, choose a template or apply a filter. This is where you're going to select the parameters for the segment you are creating. So choose a template. If you click in here, Shopify gives you these options. So engage first time customers, and then it gives you a few other options below, like first time customers who have opted into email marketing, first time customers who bought specific products, engage high value customers, high spend customers who purchase products with a specific tag, re-engage customers, target storefront behavior, target purchase behavior, target specific location. So if I just click into one of these, and then there's also all up top. But if I just click into one of these, so let's do engage first time customers who bought a specific product. You can use this template. And now it is popping up where I can select the product. So let's say I just click this one. If I wanted to add another one, another one, and then I'm gonna call that good. And then I'm gonna end this parentheses. So then I ended this first parentheses and then I had this open other parentheses. So it didn't have one ending it, I ended it. And then it came up with the option product was purchased or product wasn't purchased. So I'll hit product was purchased. And now it's saying valid segment. So this segment is complete in which I could hit apply. And it's showing three customers, which I just looked in my customers down here. And when it has these products that you can enter in here, the customer did not need to purchase each one of these in their order. They just needed to purchase at least one of them in the order. So two of these orders down here, the customer purchased the sweet tart color. And then in another one, they had purchased one of these anchor threads. And here, number of orders equals one. So a first time purchaser. So if I wanted to save this segment, I could go over here and save it and I could give it a name. So purchase once and bought, and then let's say I just put in the product names. If you ever want to rename it, just go into this more actions and you can rename it or you can delete it even. And then if you hit use segment, it's showing up with an email app or the discount section of Shopify. And I'm actually going to delete this one. It's asking me, are you sure you want to delete this segment? And then I do, so delete segment. And then I'm going to go into create segment again. And I'm going to show you if you apply a filter. So meta fields, I'm not going to go over. That's not something I've actually done. So add new fields to customers. Use definitions to add meta field values on your customers' pages. So that's something I'll have to look into later. I'm going to click into the Shopify. So you can add filters here, like customer tags, order place, number of orders place, email subscription status, states or provinces, cities, products purchased, abandoned checkout date, amount spent, and there's a bunch of different options. So let's say I select customer tags. And with this, the way it's written, it definitely would help if you have very basic coding knowledge because it's kind of just writing one line of code. So right here, it is automatically put in customer tags. And now you can select contains, does not contain, doesn't exist or exists. Now I'm gonna hit contains this exact tag. And now it pops up with tags that I can select. So I'm gonna select this spin a sale tag and it pops up that I can apply another filter if I want to. So with or, it would mean if it's this first filter or the next filter, and then it would show those customers down below. And then if I choose and, it has to fit both of the filters. So I'm actually gonna hit and here. And for fun, we're just gonna add one for number of orders placed. So I'm gonna select number of orders. And then I'm just gonna do is greater than, and then I'll just put in one. So greater than one order. Down here it is telling me that I have a valid segment. It is a full complete filter. So now I'm gonna hit apply filters here. And it popped up with one customer. One thing I do want to note, so Let's say I have one customer right now. I could end up with more customers if more customers eventually fit these filters. I don't need to refresh this in any sort of way. As soon as a customer meets this filter, it will go right into the segment. And as soon as a customer no longer meets this filter, they will leave this segment. So let's say I took this customer here and I deleted out the tag of spin a sale, then this customer would be removed from this segment without me having to do any more besides removing that filter. Okay, once at this point with the segment, I could save the segment or I could discard it. I don't really want to keep it so I'm going to discard it. Don't be afraid just to kind of come around on the segment page and play around with it and see if you can add some new segments. This is really helpful for email marketing and then also if you want discounts to go to just certain customers. So I'll show you in the discounts area. 
let's say I went to this one right here. See, under customer eligibility, you could do all customers, specific customer segments. See, this is where the segments would come in, or specific customers. So let's say you had you want to do a segment of customers who haven't purchased yet, that could be selected. And obviously if you made any new segments, they could pop up in here. 